I'm Tom Salway for Sense Media, and I'm here with Nicola Roux from ST. Nicola, lovely to speak with you. Tell me a little bit about the company, first of all. Okay, ST Microelectronics is a company uh, specialized in many things, especially in uh, automotive. So we're having plenty of products, analog, microcontroller, but also uh, cameras and ISPs, especially uh, made for uh, very sharp uh, detection. And tell me about the particular technology that you're displaying at the stand here at AutoSense this week. So what we announced this week is uh, two new products for in-cabin, which are global shutters specialized in near-infrared. And this, this uh, special, uh, global shutter is very good in terms of uh, ambient light uh, uh, immunity, thanks to the HDR support, thanks to background removal, and this is really based on the, on the pixel itself, which is able to have two memory zones inside the same pixel. So being able to store inside the same pixel array two uh, different images mm -hmm. once, one after the other one. So how, how would this be applied then to other companies? What, what's the relevance of this technology? The, te the relevance of the technology is ST is owning its own fab, so we are able to, to really uh, to tune the pixel, to have a close relationship with the, the pixel guys, and we are able to have a very specific, very disruptive technology from the silicon up to the product itself. <laughs> And what's the reception been like from uh, the other businesses that have been visiting your stand this week? What have they been saying about this technology? Yeah, clearly it's really disruptive. It's a brand new versus what the other one are doing because the way we, we do the pixel global shutter is different. And so we are enabling a new area of, uh, of sensing inside the car. So you're saying that this technology is, is very unique in, in the way that what the way that ST are handling it. Are there any other technology companies that you're aware of that are doing similar things in, in, a, in a similar way? Yes, but not with the same kind of integration. Mm. Uh, the, for example, the competitors are not doing this kind of a small global shutter with so, so much feature inside. So and it's, it's hardly feasible if you don't uh, have your close relationship with the fab and if you don't have all the, all the experts that can work together. Mm. It must be very difficult, though, to keep ahead of this technology that for many it's moving very, very fast. How do you keep ahead? How do you keep the new ideas coming and, and moving forward constantly with, with the technology? Yeah, it's a matter of uh, innovation, that's very clear. Taking risks on new, new, new things like we, we shown la, last year the HDR uh, global, uh, the, sorry, rolling shutter flicker free, which is really disruptive. Now it's a global shutter uh, HDR, which is also disruptive. So. You need to, to keep uh, to be on the edge, that's very clear, and to take some risk to, to put on the market something that creates values. Is it fair to say that we could come back here to this very spot in five years' time and the technology will have moved so much further? Is it really moving that fast? Oh yeah, you need, they need to want, to want to have a smaller pixel, more sensitivity, they want to have more computer vision, so uh, not, not so far from the, the sensor itself. They need to, to, to be able to have uh, LiDAR and, and also time of light, many things around, so it's, it's really, uh, you, need to, you need to go on with new technology like this. To the average consumer, how quickly would we see technology like this being used in your average vehicle? Uh, how many years away are we from actually being able to get to grips with this technology? But clearly speaking, we see automation, car automation, which is really leading the, the, the trend in innovation, and uh, most of the consumers are looking at this, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. And uh, for this, you need to enable new technology. This is what we show with in-cabin uh, driver monitoring and passenger. And you need to understand what is happening inside the car. And for this, uh, you need to, to, to get new sensors that will be uh, not visible to user, the user, or will be uh, good enough to be smart and to be not uh, disturbing the interior. Mm. Fantastic. It's been a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Uh, plenty more great videos from AutoSense. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Mm -hmm.